Hey, art friends, thanks again for all of your feedback on the blue table. I'm so glad to try to get to more of your requests. Today, we're going to be drawing a diving peregrine falcon. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you're going to follow along with me. You got your marker, paper, and also something to color with at the very end. Now, I'm also using more than one sheet of paper so that my marker doesn't soak through the, the one sheet and get onto the table. All right, first step, we're going to start down here. We're going to use the whole paper. So we're going to start down here. We're going to draw our the head of our falcon. And we're, we're going to start with the eye, actually. So let's draw a little football shape down here at the bottom. Or it looks like a little leaf. And then inside, we're going to also draw a circle. And then we're going to color that in. All right, now let's draw another shape that goes around that. Now, because I'm drawing by myself, remember, if you ever need more time, you can always pause the video. Next, let's draw the beak. We're going to draw a V shape, an upside down V shape. It comes up like this and then back down. Then we're going to draw the top of the beak first. And they have these cool hooked beaks because they're birds of prey. And then we're going to draw another hook that comes back like that into that little V shape. Then we're going to draw the bottom part of the beak. So we're going to draw this, we're going to draw another V, but it's really small and, and kind of tall. Now on the beak, let's draw a little dot for the nostril. And then we're also going to draw a line that comes across the beak because so the front of it is gray. And then we're going to draw another line on the bottom part of the beak. And we can also draw the tongue coming, sticking out right there inside the mouth. All right, he's looking so cool. Now we're gonna draw his head. It's gonna go, it's gonna start here on the beak, go over and back. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of the beak. We're gonna draw another line that comes out like this for the bottom of the head. Start from the bottom of the beak and come back. Cool, now they have these really awesome patterns on their head. So first we're gonna draw a line that starts here in the back of the eye, comes back and connects to the neck. Then we can also draw the front part that connects down to the beak. Now let's draw the other pattern that's on his neck. We're gonna draw a line that curves back. We're gonna do a little line that comes up and then back. And then we're gonna draw this cool upside down U. And then we're gonna connect it back into the neck. There we go. They've, they've got the awesomest faces with this cool pattern that goes across their face and over their eyes. Okay, now let's draw the body. We're going to draw this big curve that comes back. And then we're going to draw another curve for the other side of the body coming back like that. Now they have a lot of feathers, so we're going to add those towards the end. But let's draw the tail next. We're going to draw a big U shape. It comes back like this. And then we're going to come back down and stop right in the middle. We're not going to go all the way back to where we were. Then we can come back up here and we're going to draw another U shape that connects to the bottom of the body. All right, he's looking so awesome. Okay, now up here, let's draw a few more tail feathers. We're going to draw a couple more that are overlapping behind this one and fill in that middle space. Now we're going to draw the shapes of the wings and we're going to draw them tucked in a little bit because he's diving and he, he tucks them in so that he can go faster. So first we're going to draw a U shape right here. And then we're going to repeat that same shape over here on the other side. Cool. Now let's draw a big curve that comes back like this and it really matches the same curve on his body. And we can do that same thing over here. <laughs> now let's draw the inside curve. We're going to draw another curve that comes. It kind of matches this, the first one we drew. We'll do the same thing over here. Then we're going to draw a big V to connect. Like that. And we'll do the same V over here on this side. I know it's looking a little different, but once we add the rest of the details, it's going to look really cool. Now right here, we're going to draw a long line that comes back to the length of the tail. So it should line up here. And we can do that same line right here. And then we're going to connect it back down to the outside of the wing. So we're going to come back, back like this. 
and I, I didn't go far enough, so we can actually redraw that. I'm going to draw it just like that. There we go. Let's do the same thing over here. Oh, man, this is looking awesome. Now we're going to connect the wings in. So we're going to draw an upside down U right here and connect it into his neck. And we'll do the same thing over here. Connect it in. And then in between, over here at the back of his wing, we're going to draw a curve that comes up and then back down. And we'll do the same thing over here. Up, back down. Now that we have the general shape of our peregrine falcon, we're going to add all of the details, the feathers, so the texture to his body. Let's start on the wings. So see this line that I, I accidentally drew the first time? We're going to repeat that and actually draw a lot of those. So I started over here, but let's start on the inside and we'll come up. And we're just going to draw a bunch of lines. These are really long uh, wing feathers. These flight feathers. So we're going to do that same thing over here. Fill in that shape with these really long, cool lines. Next, we're going to start up here on his wing, and we're going to draw a bunch of U's that are connected together. Then we're going to add more U's on the next line, and look at how I touch each of the feathers. So we're going to overlap, and we're going to make it look like He's got this cool, these smaller feathers on the top part of his wing. And we're going to come down, we're going to fill in the shape down to the, the point of this V. Then once we get to the V, we're going to add feathers going down this side. Now, just, now, because I'm going fast, remember, you, this part, you don't have to do it exactly like me. You can use your own creativity to fill in the texture and to make the feathers look really nice. And it's supposed to look natural, so it's okay that your feathers look different. That You, you might be drawing feathers bigger or smaller than me. Now, I'm going to repeat that same texture all the way down his other wing. Okay, now just like we did over here, because we got to this, the point of the V, we're going to draw feathers that go down the side. And we'll draw them going down the other side. And then we can just fill in the rest of it. Now we're going to repeat that same texture right here on the top of his wings. Well, it kind of looks like the bottom, but if he was right side up, this would be the top of his wing. We're going to do the same thing over here. Had feathers coming down his wings, and we're not going all the way down because he's got longer feathers down here at the bottom or the top. <laughs> now on this next layer, this next level, let's draw longer feathers. We're not going to go all the way. We just want to draw them longer than the first ones we drew. Then we're going to draw long feathers going all the way down. Now I'm starting, I'm doing this different. See how I'm going? I'm starting up towards the body. And then I'm working my way out with these really long feathers that are overlapping. We're going to do the same thing over here. Now we're going to draw the feathers on his belly. And we're first going to draw these little U's that are connected to each other. So I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to draw little feathers. And some are big and some are bit small. We're going to go across his chest. Now, these are his, his chest feathers. We're going to draw more feathers on the next level. I'm going to draw these kind of long. Just repeating that same, that same U shape going across. There we go. He's looking awesome. This one, I'm going to add even kind of wider feathers. And we're going to add another layer. And then down here at the bottom, we're going to add one last level of feathers. And then we're going to draw his feet. So we're going to just draw ovals. We're going to draw one oval like this. I'm going to draw another oval right next to it. And then we're going to divide up the talons. So I'm just going to draw two lines inside each oval like that. 
Now, if we want, we could also add lines going the other way because they have these little cracks inside of their talons on top of their talons. That's going to add that cool texture to make it look different than feathers. Now, right here in between his talons and also his tail feathers, we're going to add some longer U shapes. So one in the middle and one on the outside. We can add a few more really long feathers. Oh, <laughs> he looks so cool. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our diving peregrine falcon. It looks amazing. Now, I want to remind you one more time. It's okay that your drawing looks different than mine. I'm sure it still looks super amazing. And I also want to remind you, it's okay if your feathers look messy. Mine, mine look messy, and it's okay. That feathers are supposed to be messy. It's part of nature. You don't want your feathers to look perfect. Now we're all done with our marker. We're going to switch to our colored pencils. Now most of this part I'm going to fast forward so you can always pause the video at different parts and then match the same coloring that I'm doing. Also talk about some of the patterns that I'm adding to try to make it look realistic. Now, now that I have the main colors blocked in for the falcon, I've used this light beige for the most of the body, and then also this uh, is a 70% French gray. I'm using Prismacolor color pencils, but you guys can just use a light brown and a darker brown. So the dark brown is for the face and also the, the long uh, flight feathers, and the beige was for most of the body. Now I'm gonna use the darker brown for this French gray to add texture on the feathers so I'm gonna add some stripes I'm just gonna go back and forth and come in here and add little stripes across these wing feathers and I'm gonna do this on the other side also just go back and forth till you get that cool stripe pattern and then I'm also gonna go in and add stripes on the body and then color in on the wings I'm gonna color little spots on each of the U's you see that? Isn't that cool? Adds this really fun uh, pattern, texture on the feathers. So now I'm gonna fast forward again, but I'm just gonna add that texture to the whole body, also even the tail feathers. Each of the body feathers, I'm adding two little stripes, one at the bottom and then one on the tip of the feather. You just repeat that same pattern on every little feather. And it's okay that you're being messy. It's okay to be messy with these strokes when you're going back and forth. It just makes it look more natural. Then on these longer feathers right here, I'm going to add more stripes. So just go back and forth until you get to the very end of the feather. Little stripes all the way across. Then we're gonna add stripes on the tail feathers, and these are gonna be really cool stripes. So just go back and forth really fast. Don't go slow, go fast so that it's messier. It'll look even cooler. Then up here on his chest, I'm gonna add little dots that go across his chest to make this look more natural. And I did the same thing on the tips of his, of his wings. Then up here on his neck, I'm going to add some shading. I'm just going to start dark on the outside. And then as I go, get towards the top of his head, I'm going to get lighter and lighter. You can also add some shading around his body. On the bottom and also the other side. All right, we did it. We finished coloring our Peregrine Falcon and it looks amazing colored in. I hope you're gonna take the time to finish your drawings and color them also. I use Prismacolor colored pencils. I'll leave links below this video where you can go over to Amazon and purchase the exact same set. I say this every time, it's okay that your drawings look different, especially when we're drawing animals or we're drawing nature because it should look different. Nothing looks the same. And also it should be a little bit messy. That'll make it look more realistic. I hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.